Hello, I'm Pastor Bruce McKenney, one of the pastors at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Lake Mills. I'm so glad that you could join us again for this daily devotion. Today, I'd like to share with you some words of encouragement entitled, Knocking on Heaven's Door. His name was Bump Phillips. At that time, he was the head coach of the NFL team, which was the Houston Oilers. Later on, it moved to Nashville, that team, and is now known as the Tennessee Titans. But that year, Bump Phillips had just lost the AFC Championship game to the Pittsburgh Steelers, one game away from the Super Bowl. Afterwards, when he was asked about the loss, he said this, last year, we knocked on the door. This year, we beat on it. Next year, we're going to kick, and I can't say what he said, the door down. And whenever I think about Bum Phillips' quote, I often think about our prayer life and how God wants us to approach the door of heaven with all of our petitions. And when we pray, how should we pray? Surely we want to pray humbly, because it's only through Jesus Christ that you and I have the right and the privilege as sinners to approach the throne of grace in heaven. But sometimes I think we forget that prayer isn't just a one-time thing, and that we shouldn't be timid in our prayer life. In fact, on one occasion when Jesus was teaching his followers about prayer, he said this, Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened unto you. Now, two things I want to highlight about those imperatives. When Jesus spoke those imperatives, ask, seek, knock, those imperatives are in the present tense, which means that Jesus was really saying, keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking, and don't stop. And we can be bold when we approach heaven's door, knocking on it with our prayers, because after these invitations to pray, Jesus gave this assurance. For whoever asks will receive, and he who seeks will find. And to the one who is not, the door will be opened. So what's on your heart? What are the things about which you would like to ask God? What are the heavy issues for which you want answers? Jesus wants you to bring that to heaven's door so that he can hear those requests. Perhaps maybe it's something as simple as opening up the state so we can get back to work. Maybe you have concerns about catching the coronavirus, or or maybe you're worried about the well-being of a loved one who's caught the coronavirus. Or perhaps maybe you're worried about a party that was planned for graduation or a celebration of a confirmation, or even a wedding day, will it have to be postponed? Will it have to be canceled at this time? And there might be other things that are heavy on our heart. Maybe it's sorrow. Maybe it's a bruised conscience over some guilt. Perhaps maybe you feel weak and you need some strength. Perhaps maybe you might be afraid and you want some courage. Whatever might be heavy on your heart, Jesus has asked you to bring those things to heaven's door, to ask about them, to seek answers for them, and to keep knocking on that door. And when you pray for those things for yourself and and for others, you can be confident that God will hear, and he is a good and gracious God, And he has the power graciously to give us all good things. Not because we deserve those things, but because through Jesus Christ, we are God's children and he wants to hear from us. No, we don't want to talk like Bump Phillips about kicking down heaven's door with our prayers. But in a way, that's what Jesus is inviting us to do with these words. So, dear friends, Keep on asking. Keep on seeking. 
keep on knocking on heaven's door and trust Jesus' assurance that you will receive, that you will find, and the door will be opened unto you. Speaking of prayers, we have so many beautiful hymns in our hymn book that teach us about prayer. One of my favorites is, is the Lutheran hymnal, hymn 409. I'd like to just read for you a few verses as a prayer. We pray, come my soul with every care. Jesus loves to answer prayer. He himself bids you to pray and will never turn away. You are coming to a king. Large petitions with you bring. For his grace and power are such, none can ever ask too much. Amen. And let's join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Exciting things happening this weekend around our Synod. Uh, this uh, Saturday, the seniors from Martin Luther College are graduating our, our, our ministry college in Noah, Minnesota. Uh, three of our members, God willing, will be receiving their first call into the public ministry of our Lord. Also an invitation for you to join us this weekend for our worship services. Just go to St. Paul webpage in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. And then next week, we also will have an extra special service as we celebrate the Festival of the Ascension of our Lord on Thursday night. So please join us for that service as well. God bless you, and again, thank you for joining us.